Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's late. As you can see, the sun has gone down and it's nighttime. We're here on Logar Valley. We're going to be running a little operation called Silent Vigil. And this is a One Life event from Squad Ops. My name's Muff. I'm here with Matter. How's it going, everybody? Good to see you all again. We'll be bringing you the play-by-play -play action here between the U.S. and insurgent soldiers. Maybe if you want to bring the motorcycle over, I'm cool. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a dark one out here tonight. Uh, Silent Vigil, we do mandate a certain gamma for everybody, so they're going to be stumbling around in the dark. We'll see how that goes for them. Very excited. Yeah, this is a good one. There's been, we've changed up Silent Vigil again. This is an yep. always-changing operation, so we'll go over what's the difference here. Here's what's going to happen. The insurgents are going to mine this outer road, the outer perimeter road. They're going to choose a spot or two. I think maybe just one. I'm not sure. Maybe as many as they want. And they're going to place mines. They can choose right up to four, the... yep. Up to four, okay. And they, they get to mine it. They got to keep their mines on the road. They can't put them in little secret spots off the side of the road. They got to put them in the road somewhere. So the U.S. are going to have a striker, and they're going to escort it around the road. The striker has to stay on the road. The infantry soldiers do not. And the U.S. needs to clear the mines. They get to establish a fire base in either Echo 3 Keypad 6 or Delta 4 Keypad 2. It looks like they've chosen Echo 3 Keypad 6 for this first round. With that, they can, they're, they'll they move out slowly. They'll probably stick together for all we know. Uh, as for IEDs on the insurgency side, they can't place those on roads. They can put them anywhere off the roads, but they can't be used as part of the minefields. So, since I'm flying around over here, we're about to do a little bit of platoon briefing for the U.S. side. I'll give you their command yeah. and, and squad leaders. Their squad leader is, or their commander is, Karma Cut. And he's got four qualified squad leaders underneath him, those being Google Trex, Xbit, Nasty Nate, and Krusty the Sailor. So they'll be kind of the offensive force at the start of this round. What's the INS running over there, Matter? Well, the INS, they are going to have Hutch as their command. So old guard, guy that knows this op very well. Uh, also, for his capable squad leads, they are going to be Best Pony, Lish, Shadowed Ritual, and Jack Reynolds. So all guys who have squad led, he can have trust in every single one of them. I don't foresee any problems with that going on. All right. Looks like the U.S. are about to do a platoon brief. Uh, they're not all quite squared away over there yet, but we'll be going shortly. We just recently rolled the map because it's only a one-hour... Uh, if you look up there, it's only one-hour mission or variation map, so we want to give as much time as possible for these guys. Oh, yeah. And, you know, that's about all there is to it. We're, we're going to see a lot of slow, very very careful pushing by the U.S. as they basically run this gauntlet around the outside of the, the map. And then once hell breaks loose, it'll all break loose. Oh, yeah. And the, inf or the INS, they get to pick up any vehicles that they want around the map. The only one that they are not allowed to pick up is that uh, scout car. That thing is a little too powerful, so they will not be allowed to pick that up. But otherwise, vehicle scrounge for them should be pretty fun. We'll see if they put those SPG techies to use. They could be really deadly in an environment where you can't see hardly five feet in front of your face. Roll one of those out, shoot an SPG, roll it back. Could be really deadly. It's really exciting to see what they do. Currently, the INS has actually split up their squad, spawning some of them at the northeastern cache and some of them at the southwestern. Looks like they got four squads in on the northeast and the rest of them on the southwest over there. You can see them way off in the distance over there hanging out. They're probably going to set another minefield ambush or something like that over there or maybe serve as an early warning. But most of their squads have chosen to spawn over on this side. Is U.S. close to getting themselves together for that briefing yet? Or oh, yeah, they're already on? they're mid-briefing. Karma Cut's getting oh. the, the lowdown on it. What are you I'm not sure cool. what they're doing. Sounds like they're going to go north. Hey, so, hey, to, all right, to make 
once they're sa uh, satisfied with their initial defenses, uh, patrol will continue. Uh, yeah, we can get in here on Karma. Once again, that's squad three front le uh, left, squad four front right, uh, squad one in the center behind. Command will run with squad one in the rear. Uh, we're looking for all four mines on the road. There will be four mines. IEDs will be throughout and on vehicles. Those are not our objective. Our objective is to remove the mines, make it back to the cop. Uh, once we clear the MSR, we'll head back to the cop and uh, hold hold from there. If we lose the striker, we continue on foot, continue looking for mines, clearing the road. Uh, squad two uh, will be maintaining the cop, and then we'll have one squad or uh, one fire uh, team, excuse me, on QRF, and they'll get called as command uh, deems necessary. Uh, otherwise, squad two will be alone at the cops. You need to have eyes up, facing out, uh, making sure area is secure. Uh, change of command, if I go down, is going to be X-Bit, then squad three, then squad four, then squad two. Are there any questions? Nope. All right, I have sounds one good. Question. Yeah, shoot, hit. Uh, INS, like, if the cache is too close to the FOB location, you might not be able to place it. What do we do in the event that happens? Uh, we're, we're on, we'll worry about that when we're on that team, but... Um, Copy that. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, squad lead, break them out, get ready for life. All right, the U.S. are done briefing. I think they're going to be turning their their vehicles around and heading out to the north. Follow oh. the northern side. They're going to drop a fob somewhere near, I don't know, central D.C. here, district center. And I see they've got a mortar spot set up. So I'm not sure what their plan is. Looks we'll like they're definitely going to go. set up that fire base somewhere. We've got a live time at 50. So... Looks like we're about two minutes out from that. Two minutes and ten seconds. Then we'll be getting on the way. The INS has stacked themselves up, and it looks like they are mostly planning on setting up some sort of ambush, a big ambush, uh, whenever the striker is forced to dip into the city. So on this north side, showing you guys on my map, there are... Uh, is currently an attack and defense marker. It looks like that's where they're going to be setting up on that north side, right by that north INS supply. So that'll be a pretty big ambush point. We'll see what they have in store. I'm sure it's going to be pretty nasty. It looks oh, like yeah. the guys that spawned at the... Yeah, yeah. It looks like the guys that spawned at the southwest that cache, they're mostly in charge of grabbing those techies that are down there and getting them into play. So we'll see how that goes. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not even sure where the insurgents are supposed to spawn. I don't think it even right said anything about it in the so briefing. Let me check here. Some compounds are larger than others, but this is the overall game. Looks like Hutch is giving a briefing right now to some of his squads. So. Okay, the insurgents start at the caches or their main, so they're, they're going to stick yeah. around those caches till live and then the vehicle scrounge. Okay. Squad 4 is going to be supplying us with our vehicle support and defending our west flank a little bit. We're live in about 50 seconds. Okay. Should be pretty interesting. This is going to be a really dark one. It's going to be real tough for these guys to to get around and see what's going on. Uh, finding those mines is going to be a difficult task for sure. Definitely. Definitely. There should be yep. infantry in front of the vehicles all day. They should be Absolutely. looking right down at the ground, probably, probably taking the first shots, which sucks. Mm-hmm. And we'll see what they do with the IEDs as well, see how they decide to use those. Will they sit them a little bit back from the mines, and when they have to stop to clear those mines, will they then blow the IEDs and set up an ambush, or or what will come from that? Now, one thing that I don't know that we mentioned, the U.S. does get this fire base. And they can set up two mortars, and they can also set up two HMGs to defend it. So we'll see what those mortars have in store for the defenders here. I don't know. I think that their their goal is to set up the mortars on the western hill, west of District Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're live, by the way. Oh, we are live. Yes, we're we going. are. The U.S. have taken off to the north. They've got a huge line formation going. Two squads full. The INS is running like a giant drunken mob down the street to rush to their ambush location, which is pretty entertaining to see. I have to say... It, it at least suits their their mentality, which is very guerrilla. Hutch was telling them beforehand 
to take up positions in buildings and just be nasty. You know, put in put in rounds on the the back of the striker, throw in frag rounds with the lats, use those GLs. Actually, do they they don't get GLs, do they? No, they Negative. don't have them. Negative. Uh, so just using those, uh, using the frag rounds that they have to really clear out infantry, they are basically going to get their guys spread out in a lot of different compounds and really force the U.S. to try to have to weed them out, which is going to be a difficult task. Yeah, it looks like one squad, and that would be, I don't know, who's Krusty the Sailors, I think. No, Nasty Nate's squad. Pushing ahead, maybe trying to get a little bit of elevation advantage to spy out. They're holding up, though. Crusty the Sailor squad pushing far ahead. And the other two squads are way back. That's Google Trex and Xbit squads. Looks like the... Looks like the INS have decided to push into this north side of Chikar, the actual city. And they are taking up residency in a bunch of these little compounds, these little buildings. I just heard one of them actually call out from one of the squads and say, all right, this is home from now on. So it looks like they are looking to just set up here and really make this their big ambush point. I can see they've dropped a couple of mines in there now, too, just on the Absolutely. northwestern corner of the town. Yep, the scouts are out here dropping those mines, placing IEDs, putting those down. They're going to use this choke point, Dr. Kamikaze here on my screen, laying down these mines, seeing what he can do, laying down IEDs. It's going to be pretty nasty. Are they yeah, all the, the same are... classes? No, Pickle They're DD. scout. Yeah, no, they're scouts. We, they're actually, both teams get two ARs and a medic. The insurgents also get a lat and a scout per squad. The U.S. get two GLs in their squad as well. So currently, U.S. moving along at uh, just under a snail's pace. It's going to be about 15 minutes till we see any contact if they keep going this fast. Uh, Karma Cut did just announce that they're on the clock and they should keep moving. Don't stop until contact, which could encourage some people to push forward. But you know how these people are when they only have one life. No one wants to lead the way because they don't want to be the first one to get shot at or hit. So... Three minutes That's always a scary US one. Are actually farther away right now than where they started, but we'll get they'll get in there. Oh yeah, they've actually started to push out a squad to the west. It looks like too to kind of cut those hills. Yeah, that's and... nasty Nate squad moving in. Ah, nasty Nate moving them out there. Maybe getting some advanced scouting. It's a good idea. Not a bad idea. Karma Cut is encouraging movement speed, but everyone's at a fucking standstill. <laughs> so <laughs> this, could, this could take a little longer than he's anticipating. He's reminding everybody they're on the clock. We 46 minutes to go. Yeah, the uh, that squad that spawned at the southwestern cache, they did do as anticipated. They got themselves all of the vehicles and have pulled them. They have pulled them together. I'm going to see what they're up to over here. This is Hyper Evo and Noble Six has got themselves some sort of vehicle here. Really hard to see in the dark. Well, they can take their sweet time to get ready. They've got oh, a yeah. good, good 20 minutes now. There's, I don't know why the vehicles are completely stopped. I'm not sure if this is where they plan on putting their fob or something. I don't know. Perhaps so. Does that seem to be where they're anticipating to set up the mortar base? It looks like that could be the case. Uh, no, I have no idea. Uh, you see three near you. Looks like Google trying to place that fob down. Yeah, go north more. Next compound north too. Once they get that fob down, then they can they get one logi dump, and with that logi dump, they are allowed to build two mortars, two HMGs and figure it out from there it's just ticker rate after that so we'll see what they decide to do with those the mortars will be great if they get some early contact and want to lay in some heavy indirect fire before they push in we'll see if they use it effectively mortars can be difficult to use but hopefully they can use it effectively thank you all right fob is finally down it's a uh, way east so they're going to be lobbing mortars a long ways they won't even be able to get all the way across the map in some locations. But it looks like they're going to be able to reach 
district center, which is where a lot of this action is going to take place. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be the main place. And I guess we should go over what happens if the insurgents are not successful in stopping all the vehicles and killing all the U.S. here. Eventually, the U.S. is going to have to make it the whole way back around to that base. And once they've cleared the route, then the INS will have to attack it and the U.S. will have to defend that. So we'll see what they actually end up doing. It's going to be a little while. I hear a couple people falling asleep over here, a couple of the INS nodding off. I mean, it's been a long day, you know, placing mines got, on the road, digging them down. It's difficult. Got plenty of time. They've got time for a nap if they need it. Yeah, get in a nice little nap, see what they can do. Crispy just laying down in that compound. They've dumped the lodgy. I don't know. What All right. Gonna, I'm not sure where they're going to put the mortars. I'm sure once we see those come down, it'll be interesting to see if they do their ranging, how they set up that sort of thing. I know Karma is a big fan of bracketing his mortars in, but if you want good effective hits first time, maybe they'll try to pre-range for where they think they might hit contact and then kind of walk the mortars with so the, the convoy uh, as it's moving through. Bases. We'll have to see how they set that up, though. Yep, it'll be interesting. Oh, well, and I don't know where they're going to put up their machine guns either. They might yeah, just wait until bad. they uh, are successful. If they successfully clear all the mines and make it back so around, they'll come back to this fire base here and defend up, uh, it from any remaining insurgents. Sorry? Yeah, are they leaving anybody up there? I don't think so. It looks like Google Trex's whole squad is still hanging out there right now, but if they're going to go rushing into a full team of insurgents, they're probably going to want that third or fourth squad in there. You would think so. You would think so. They're finally working around that northern turn in the road that will put them back towards district, and we'll see once they finally move in. That's something else. The, in, or the U.S. actually get to choose which way they want to do this route. So the INS has no clue which way they're coming from first. They set up in this district area kind of with the intention of, well, if they come south, we'll, we'll get ourselves a nice long nap. And if they come north, then we'll get into them early in their rotation. They have set up their techies up on this hill over here, Cool Breeze and Chappie. I checked in on them earlier, and they managed to get this SPG techie up here on this hill. And it is just sitting there waiting and watching down on that road where they have set up the ambush with the other mines. It's just trying to sit here and wait it out. We'll see what they actually end up doing with it, though. Dishka techie is up there, too, just to add some insult to injury, but... The rest of them have just spread themselves out through these compounds, and they have decided that this is home for a little bit. I do like they are setting up guys on both sides of the road quite extensively. They're also spreading people out, so if the U.S. managed to roll in here and not find any of the early scouts and not manage to see any of the early action coming in, they will suddenly be under a hail of bullets from every direction. Oh, yeah, definitely. And if Nobody around there sees him. Hutch will see him from that northern hill, and he's got overwatch over everything up there. Oh, absolutely. So definitely. Yeah, he's got those. Down, keeping everyone in line, out of sight, Mission. spread out, all that good stuff. You know, now might be a good time before we get into too much action to go over our cameras, actually, the guys who make this all work. You want to you wanna rattle them off for us, Muff? Yeah, let's do it. We got plenty of time. We'll even give you guys a few seconds on each one. So besides myself and Matter, we've got Truth Realm. We got three off to our left, but there's J Remick. Xbit. It's just a rocket. Hey, copy that. Push up, push up, push up. Krusty the Sailor. Roger, time a little bit. One splashing into one. Google Tricks. Copy shot. Copy shot. Hold round. Scott Davy advised 20 second splash. The Silver Man. Uh, 900 meters up. You're going to go ahead and pop. Was it? Sounds like a 80. Merrick 362. Good old Hyper Evo. Next up is It's Crispy. Shadowed Ritual. 
best pony. Audible on the striker. Big yes. And last but not least, server error 404. I think it is. Those guys making it cool, making this all come together, giving you those really neat boots on the ground perspectives that we like so much when everything gets really crazy. Always like to see those come in. Yep, they'll get in there and give you the the up close and personal view that we don't get to see from floating around up here. All right, start using that Looks like they're starting to get in close here. The U.S. is starting to push down this road that's... It's getting a little close here. Everybody's starting to step it up. Bravo three, Far Hill. I wonder if Hutch sees them. Is he calling them out or anything yet? Have they been called out? They're calling out the mortars, but I don't know that Hutch has actually seen any infantry yet. They're calling out the bracketing mortars that they're hearing. About two, four, five, Far Hill. Oh, there we go. Hutch just called them out. He just called out infantry. He has let them know that they are moving on the compound that Dr. Kamikaze and a rock of something are in, and those guys are getting ready. Oh, we're about to see contact here. It could be Krusty the Sailor or Fafinator first. A rock of something there. A rock or something. Hears him. He hears him. He's pushing around. Yep. He's gonna he's gonna run in the matrix. Oh, they open up. Shadowed ritual gets hit. Rock or something's gonna peek. Oh, if Rock or something peeks, he's got oh. Oh. Oh he, they trade. Trade. Matrix. Matrix is getting hit. Munger here at the corner takes down Matrix, throws a grenade. Krusty oh, the Sailor Krusty goes down. down. That's a squad lead down. Fafinator's hurting. Direction two, four, Demind, Demind's pushing in on Munger. Megas Arcanus is in there. One Tap Man's also nearby. Dr. Kamikaze's on the corner of the building. Oh, Demind Dr. Kamikaze drops, drops Demind and Slinger. Wow. With this that is, scout uh, kit, I heard that SKS crack. This is a bad little first contact for the U.S. That's a lot of guys down, and they only managed to take down one INS. I hear U.S. calling for medics. Dr. Kamikaze's pushing. I hear that striker looming. It's getting ready. They, uh, they've they actually just called that out on INS command. Over on the east side, we've got Odessa, Saloon, Fat City... Jay Remick and the Silverman kind of flanking around to the southeast. We'll see what they get up to. And Karma cuts down for the U.S. Wow. So the commander is down. I don't know when or where he died. That, that's too bad, though. Oh, U.S. opening up on this southeast here. Trying to fire in on crispy, mighty memes, dreadful decay. Taps. Lat firing those frags out. Not hitting anybody. U.S. firing smoke grenades in on them, marking their location. Great smoke grenades. That's exactly where they're at. Sightless. They're just holding up in up that the roof. Yep. Mighty memes putting out some smoke, trying to get cover. Those GLs now raining down on its crispy. Oh, Fat City gets taken down with a good, good little burst from Satan. I think is who did that. Either Satan or Taps, I can't really tell who, but... I think Hutch is the one that took out Karma Cut from up on the hill. I think wow. he tapped him from up there. That's amazing, if so. Command takes out Command. Gotta love that. You know, we've seen that happen before, too. Absolutely. Over here, a little bit to the west, Best Pony, Iron Tyrant, Space Monkey, Sneaky Sniper. Just holding out in this building. Ready to push out if they need to. Back up to the north, one tap man getting engaged with pretty much a full squad here. Well, at least a fire Remick team. Throws a good out, takes out his crispy. Or not, nope, it's crispy still alive. Don't know who he took out. Oh, uh, Gezi Lol uh, asks, What is 4B and 2A? So on and so forth. A lot of the guys will break down their. Uh, their squads and fire teams by what they are. So 2B would be 2 Bravo. So they're in squad 2 and they are Bravo fire team. 
And then if you see an L after that, that means that they are the fire team leave lead for that element. Here comes the striker moving in. Hopefully there are no mines on the road. Yeah. Pretty sure that. Where are they that... dropping mortars? To our south. Oh gosh. Yeah, not on this side there's, anyway. There's an IED right up here with with Fafinator and Squad Four up here, but I yes, believe that the owner of that IED has been killed. So I don't think there's anything to worry about there. The striker is still just slowly yeah, roaming along, smoke. way back there. I don't expect yeah, it to be a lot of help unless vehicles come charging in. And mind you, vehicle-bound IEDs are completely legal. They can use them. They can come suicide yep. in with a vehicle, ride in that striker, and blow it up if they so choose. All right. Took a hit. Just working in that striker, a truth realm, and carpy, trying to get some good eyes on, see what they can do. They're going to be driving that thing for quite a while. That's their home. All right, Alpha, let's clear. Back of Alpha, if things have really, a... really slowed down since Karma Cut's dead, we can expect it. A lot yeah, of I'm not movement by the U.S. right here for a while. Yeah, move up, move up. Uh, the insurgents have a great advantage. We're already almost 20 minutes in, and the U.S. have made it about a quarter of the way around the map. So, going to be a tough one. It's crispy yeah. drops havoc, and then a good grenade from Merrick 362 drops taps. Oh, we lost hey, our I'm getting cover shots out. Satan and it's crispy just holding the compound here. They've got two guys pushing up on him, Merrick and Mob Savage, pushing up on him. I'll put a shield. Expert is assumed command role. That's good. At least that's something. Some progress. Yeah. GLA in my building still. To whose death, Pickled? Who, who if it was Karma Cut's death, death, he was pushing Expert, up on the north side. You can see clear. his body. I'll take you over to that it. That building's not quick. clear. Karma Cut was pushing up over here, trying to flank around, and Hutch was right up on the hill. Dropped him. Just dropped him like a bag of shit. And uh, that's too bad. Sucks when command goes down because, for the most part, it takes the team a few good minutes to get back together. It's crispy holding out in this building here. He hears footsteps all around him. Mob Savage and Lucid pushing in. See if they clear this corner properly. As you can see, the U.S. have really bunched up together now. They're they're a yeah. lot more bunched up than they previously were. Mob Savage is right around the corner from its crispy, and Mob Savage leads leaves. He doesn't clear the building. It's crispy just sitting in that corner. He lives. <laughs> Looks like Sightless, Lucid, and Mob Savage are gonna walk right into the center of Mall. As soon as Absolutely. one of them fires, all eyes are gonna be on them. Satan's in that compound they're pushing in. That that striker striker shooting is something. Yeah. Yeah. It's shooting down at the road. Oh, yeah, down the road, maybe at Best Pony. Or, yeah, it's not shooting at anything. There's nothing there. Somebody just got one tapped. Griff just totally got one tapped. Uh, that doesn't sound like oh, no. Could have been one tap up to the north. Fig called him out. Fafinator's right there. And they saw one tap man, but he's gone. He's out of there. Um, he runs away. Gun and Getting run. Away. That's what you need to do sometimes, you know, just put that shot out, take somebody down, and then get yourself into a better position where you can fire again, you know? One tap still pushing around to that north. He's out there kind of on his lonesome. As for kills, it's 11 to 5. The insurgents are winning. Great job. They're all holding strong. They they're seem to be following orders real well. As far as I can tell, I can't hear anything. Comms wise on their side. U.S. very quiet on comms. No one's saying a dang thing. I don't know what their plan is. They're just slowly pushing along. Yeah, INS comms, they are basically, you know, still calling out targets, still calling out movements. Uh, it seems like oh. their command structure is still in good Looks like situation. Odessa finally took down Wantap, man. Absolutely. He was, he was really flanking good on him there. Uh, now that full squad is kind of turning around to check their flank. Smart move. Absolutely. I think the INS is trying to kind of hold on for the time being and wait until 
they push into this little round corner. So that was their initial contact. They did what they needed to. They softened up the targets. Oh, and Nasty Nate's they're... moving in. Yes, he is. He's going to walk right in front of them. You fucking A. Direct south, you infantry See what he does They could here. be going for the mine. Some Nasty Nate, the mine. best pony. Real close to one another. Nasty Nate's going to push up here. One, one oh, Nasty Nate might right. see him. Nope, Nasty Nate didn't see him. Best pony's here pushing out now. Pony. And he got drops Nasty Nate. To was two yep. away. Wow. They Good all job, just turned pony. those gunshots. Xbit's looking in. That's two squad leaders and command down for the U.S. They're down to Xbit and Google Trek, so the only two left alive as squad leaders. Being just picked apart by the insurgents right now. Just heard Best Pony call out that the striker is basically on top of him, and he is not wrong. That thing is knocking at his door. <laughs> yeah, but they're not firing at anything. They're not doing nope. any suppressive fire. They're kind of just a noisemaker letting the insur insurgents know exactly where the U.S. are kind of at in their push. So do they start firing and provide some cover fire striker suppression? The striker is a hindrance right now. Roger that. Oh, Striker uh, opens up on Iron Tyrant and Space Monkey's building. Like, so the they might actually know that they're there. Fig might have called him out. He's real close. Poor, you should have eyes momentarily, actually. Very hard to tell. Copy. Yeah, Striker's like literally in the oh, other yeah, side of the side so of the dark. supply. I can fucking <laughs> tell. Also, I think we just wiped... Best Pony just holding out in this little corner, waiting and watching. He's ready in case anybody comes to him, but... So, I think so far, to... nobody really pushing to him. I footsteps, think he's trying to hold his shots. He probably footsteps north does east. see people here and there moving around because there's a lot of infantry outside his building, but I don't think he wants to give away his position again. Yeah, Xpit's still good. Xpit's in local talk giving good orders, ordering people, giving them good, just good, good. simple good. orders, easy to follow. I mean, they, they got to realize that some of them are going to die. Some of them are going to go in and die. That's just the way it is. All right, now the striker is shooting up into the nothingness to the northeast. Nothing to worry about over there. All right, they're calling enemies at 6-0. Let's see, there's nothing there. There is nothing there. They're seeing things, so we're not going to worry about that. Somehow the insurgents have got them looking northeast, though, so... Oh, well, that's good. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who, I don't know who saw it or made that call, but that was pretty rough. Not not the best. Not the best one ever. Maybe tree moved. Absolutely. Best Pony still just keeping eyes. I hear him calling out that he has a lot of footsteps, a lot of, around him, a lot of guys walking around. Evan SMA entering Best Pony's compound now. Well, look at that. No, they, they all know he's in there, and none of them are. are no one is paying attention to that gas station anymore. Nobody. Well, you know, they after Nasty Nate went down, they threw out frags, but they were far north. I think that they thought. That iron and tyrant, there's one hit on the striker. Monkey. Ooh, yep. And they Shrek didn't even move it. They just stopped. Oh, Fig sees Best Pony. Best Pony gave his location away. Best Pony takes him down. Also, Evan SMA. Lucid's going for Best Pony, but he's not going to get him. And that striker is going to blow up. Best Pony takes down Lucid as well. Oh, man. This is falling apart very quickly. Drop Best Pony guy. takes down uh, Fafinator. Oh my zombie. god, Pony is cleaning up. And more shots going in on the striker. That striker's not going to last much. Yep. And it's there gone. There it is. Truth Realm and Carpy are down as well with All it. All right, now wow. it's 20 to 10. So the insurgents have doubled their kills, and up it goes again. No one even knows Best Pony's around. I think they all yep. have their sound muted. <laughs> he took out Merrick 362 there with yeah. very little effort. Uh, Let's find Best Pony here. What, what's he at? Six kills. He is at Ooh. six kills. Just him in that little gas station. He hasn't moved from that corner. The corner nope. that you see him in now, he has not moved okay. for poor, more than 10 seconds. The poor US. They're just, they're lost. They have no, no nothing. X bit goes down, so that's another yeah. command. Yep. There's nothing. Google Trex is it. And, and I don't even know where he's at. He's back at the freaking mortar, so he's got no way to lead him. They're screwed, man. It seems as they diverted to the uh, the east. Went down instantly. He went down they're spread there. out now. They're not really together. They have no. Like no one left. I mean, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's watch them fall apart. I'll it seemed. It seemed uh, karma going down at the start there was definitely a big problem for them. It, you cut off the head early like that, and that's the problem with leading from the front at sometimes. 
sure it feels nice and feels good to be able to get the best information, but leading from the front will get you shot like that. Always a tough time. And look at the insurgents, so disciplined, just sitting there waiting patiently. Holding their corners. They know where their minds are at. They're probably close enough to hear the shovels digging them up, too. So We've got 24 minutes to go. The U.S. have really just got to scoot through, find the uh, find the mines, get them gone. At their, they're going to take losses. They, that's something that everyone that's thinks is not is. an option. We can't have any losses. No, you have to take losses, especially as the attacking force. You need bodies to go in there. No one wants to do it, and and that's usually well, what leads to the downfall. Yeah, no one wants to push in. You know, it's it's how it goes. Just peek hard. A lot of times yep. you can win that battle. Oh. Death Sheep takes down Fun Guy. Death Sheep just holding this corner here, getting ready. They know he's in this compound. We'll see if they can actually do anything about it. He's bandaging now. If they had a frag, they Triton. could chuck it over this little wall and get him. But uh, You'd think they would hear him bandaging. You could totally they, hear that. They have to hear him yeah. bandaging. He was right on the other side of the wall. Do they not know how that's, to get in there? That's panic. That's uh, nerves. They, they get nervous. They're like, oh, maybe there's another guy in there or something. But yep. they, instead of going and getting the sure kill in a trade, which the U.S. could at least use some trades right now and drop some insurgents. Yep, they're finally pushing into that compound numbers. on the southeast side. It's it's a bad, bad day to be the U.S. Again, they have a little under 23 minutes to go all the way around the map. They've got two more minefields to clear. Uh, they haven't even cleared one mm -hmm. yet, so they've got two total. Four mines in total, I believe, is what it is. And none of them are even on the road. So this is... It seems like they... Oh, yeah, well, they yeah. gave up the mission almost. I think Best Pony just got another one killed, Goobser. Yes, he did. That's seven now for Best Pony. Let's go with eight, because he just took down <laughs> Triton as well. Yep. See, the U.S. don't even know where to look. They they have no direction, so they're. This is as good as over. Pony, please. Sheep, let's, let's uh, he. Command, I'm pretty sure somebody asking how many are left on each team. Right Basically, what we can break it down in is that uh, INS has a ton and U.S. does not. Like <laughs> it's about it's about twelve to twenty six right now. Let's make that eleven Ooh, to twenty six. Discotechy opening up on infantry, pushing up the hill up here. Yep, sightless goes down. Uh, it's you know the the U.S. can push up there, but they have what they have to do is clear the mines Ooh. and keep moving. Great, that... great GL by J Remick. That was a great one. Did some really damage. Good work. Another one up there. He could finish him off. They're taking off. They're moving the techies. Yep. In the meantime, Hutch has moved down off the north hill. He's regrouped with his guys. Probably telling them, "Good job. Way to go. Let's keep it up. Hold the mines. They're still there. They've got to clear the mines." Is the thing. Yep. So. It's, I mean, 21 minutes. 21 minutes to go. We're gonna see this one. Those this might be the, took off. This might be the first so map where we actually run out of time. The first ever. And it's looking Which like it's a gonna shame. happen right now. Either that or all the U.S. are gonna die. <laughs> that's that's what it's coming down to. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this. Yeah, I think Karma Cut learned himself a powerful lesson by going down so early and watching his team fall apart from the spectator from camp. The That's got to be frustrating as a command, you know. Uh, I would certainly be frustrated. The insurgent yeah. techies have fallen back. They've fallen back a ways. And, you know what, if they, yep. if they do a little more guerrilla tactics and keep these guys distracted, there's no way the U.S. can even run around the map now. They, I think there's yep. not even enough time anymore for them to do it on foot. At least Silverman, safely. Odessa, Heartbreaker, chasing after techies that are now gone. Saloon, Jay Remick doing the same. Oh, they might be coming back. I hear those techies rattling through. Nah, they're rolling south. Oh yeah, they're they're running. They know that they don't need to be here. They've, they've done a great job. So, uh, let's see. One tap asks. So, how does it work if the advance forces are all dead? and only the rendezvous squad is left. Well, then the rendezvous squad is going to have to be the ones to try to push out and take down that minefield, I would think. Yep, they're going to have yeah. to hop into the freaking Logi truck, maybe send a suicide guy out so you can blow up a mine or two. That'll at least get rid of the mines, you know? <laughs> at least, you know, take out one or two. 
speed up that process. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Yeah, you can see Google there. Just He's that rendezvous squad that OneTap's talking about sitting there in the back. But, yeah, they can't be the rendezvous squad if everybody is dead. They have to then be the attackers. I wish we could call it GG OneTap, man, but it's not that simple. we got to let these guys play. Everyone's here to get immersed and, and do the best they can, even if all hope is lost. <laughs> I like how you, you phrase it so nicely. Like, the... You know, it reminds me of the uh, the movie The Road. You know, like, everything's hopeless. The world is dead. Get to the ocean. <laughs> I like it, though. Look at this. Best Pony's got his whole squad sitting in here just being patient. Um, just chilling out. You know, we're just supposed to clear all the mines. Funnily and, enough, and some of these guys didn't really even see contact at all. You know? Uh, they sat in these compounds, and nobody pushed into them, and it was handled by the initial forces that walked through, and that was kind of the end of it. C. Park says the, the quick reaction force squad for squad two uh, died so fast. Yeah, most of the U.S. died pretty fast. It's kind of rough on them. They just they walked right into the insurgents and and maybe a little too quick. But I mean, they they started off so slow that I think Karma Cut was kind of pushing them a little bit to pick up the pace, and that may have also led to their downfall. In the meantime, I can see this squad up in the northwest has actually got back yeah. into the road. Hey, you're not Sedessa, there. Jay Remick, Saloon, and Silverman. The They're not near the mines, though. The mines are still back here. Pushing around, trying to clear these compounds, making sure that there's nobody that's going to flank them as they come up the road. They have to know that, you know, they have to clear that road, I would imagine. Yep, even if they, even if they don't, they'll run into two more mines down the road later. But it's... Mm -hmm. We've got three of them to take out down here which could could hurt absolutely it, they've they've basically just circumvented the entire dc area and <laughs> i don't know what they're doing they're just clearing things i guess i don't know the it appears there's a actually the techies have moved around they're going to the rendezvous point for the u.s Push. Yeah, they're going hunting for that mortar fob. Which I don't think those mortars did really anything. They fired two ranging shots and then command died and there were no more calls for mortars after that from what I could tell. He's going to hit the border. There's a good chance they'll hear those, those techies coming <laughs> in. Too. And the U.S. force is coming back from the northwest. They're going to try to push in. It's not going to be easy. We've got a lot of insurgents here they're going to have to clear out. Absolutely. I'm hearing Hutch over command comms right now for INS. He's saying so that the they shot? are actually going to get themselves organized and attack that fire base. They have decided oh, that they are that done being mostly patient, and they are going to be working on that actual fire base. Saloon number 12 Though comes Best in. Pony just called Saloon out. Saloon number 12 hits yeah, Shadow Ritual, him. and he gets taken out by Tear Gun and Big Yes. No casualties for the insurgents. Odessa and the Silver Man. Odessa th looks like she's throwing a nade over. She is. It barely misses anybody. Jay Remick comes in, gets Game Master Me. He's going to keep pushing in. Let's see if he can get Server Error 404. He can. He gets Server Error 404. Let's see if he can keep it rolling. Odessa goes down to Tear Gun. Silverman patiently waiting outside. Shattered Ritual and Big Yes hurting a little bit there. Heartbreaker goes down. Jay Remick and the Silverman. Yeah, that was another uh, best pony kill on Heartbreaker. Oh, Tear Gun. Jay Remick takes out Tear Gun. Good job by Jay Remick, except Shadowed Ritual is right there waiting in. Traded them back. There's so trades. Are, they're all dead. They're all dead down to the rendezvous. Yep. Oh, Silverman ran away. Silverman did get away. He yes. is up in the North 40. Good Brave luck. Sir Silverman has run away. <laughs> He's got the whole... <laughs> He's got the whole team to deal with over there. He's just... He, he's, he's a little tepid. He's going to hide up there. He's, he's a little shy. A little bit shy in those fields. He's, he knows that he's pretty much up against everybody. He's just sitting along this wall. He can't see any of these guys that are highlighted, obviously, but all he knows is that he's scared, he's alone, and he doesn't have anybody around that's going to be coming to support him anytime soon. 
Not at all. In the meantime, the rendezvous squad has got nobody looking the direction that the insurgents are going to be coming in from. Nuke Duke did not hear is, those heart or close. the um. They did not hear those techies coming around. I guess. Let's see if Silverman is the squad leader or not. He is in fact not. Nope. So there is no communication between him and the reaction team or the rendezvous team. <laughs> he may fact, think that he's the last person alive. There's been no communication for a long time. Well, if he hits his map, he'll see them up there. That's true. That's true. They are firing out some mortars, putting them up on those western hills, but they're not hitting anything. Did they just taken out server 404? No, he's been dead. Shots coming in on Silver, man. I think it was Shadowed Ritual shooting at him. Yep, Shadowed Ritual firing at him. Heard a couple he called more it more out. shots go off. They've got to know that this is, they've killed a lot. 30 Absolutely. kills to 13. So, to the north. here they come. Okay, I'm going to try and get a. Mortars are so far west. Oh, shots coming in. Silverman barely alive. Grenade comes in. Ooh. Looks like Silverman got reloaded. He's peeking on Big Yes. He's going to peek a little too far, and Big Yes is going to yep. get him. All right, back to the, back to the rendezvous squad we go. That's literally the only folks left now for the U.S. is this rendezvous squad out here. And there's the announcement from Karma Cut. U.S. Patrol eliminated. COP remains. We'll be in a location where grenades will be able to take us out. So two, four, five, five where you can move Americans left. To another point of, uh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and they're getting pushed in right now. Here comes Jack Reynolds, Cool Breeze, and Chappie. And they're close. Yes, Most they are, and they've got... Completely unnoticed. They've got techie support, too, up on the hill from Immune Style, Honey Cereal, Silent Death, and Hyper Evo. They've also got Noble Six moving up, so... They're coming in perfectly. There's nobody looking at them. I just heard Jack actually call out that there are five guys in there. He somehow has eyes on pretty much all of them. That's amazing. If he was able to get an accurate count like that, he said there's about five. Well, that's not not off. Not at all. Good, good, good observation. Jack. See if they move in or not. Hutch is telling them to take some various vehicles, techies, things of that nature, and start moving them in. So it looks like they are going to be trying to at least assault this compound. Good patience by the insurgents being right on the outskirts of it. They're just waiting, waiting for some more backup. They know that the, the friendlies are coming because everybody else is dead. Absolutely. So we'll see yes, how it goes. Great patience. I mean, we kind of know how it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, maybe the U.S. will pull off a few kills or something. Yeah, it'll be exciting at least. We'll get to see these guys get set up and then use this assault. We've still got 10 minutes. Hey, what's up, Super Arrow 404 and Firebat 3314? What's up, guys? Good Welcome to see to you in stream. here. Thanks for checking us out. I saw you play in there, Server Error. Good job. Good try. You died, but you're on the winning side right now, I think. He did his best. <laughs> Checkpoint That's all these guys, you know. Everybody comes out and they they do this to get themselves immersed and see what it's like and you know participate in these these scary kind of night ops and things of that nature so even though the u.s got themselves wiped out pretty quick uh it seems that they would still have at least in my opinion i would still have a good time with it because you know getting to see what happens and see how it all plays oh, out always a good time these immersive events are something totally different side. Oh, yeah, some of the best times are being completely outnumbered and trying to hold, you know, as long as you can as they just keep coming. Just you don't know where from or how many of them, but you know that yep. you're on your last stand. Hurdle. 
Oh, Kugeltrex just saw him. He called out eyes on off to the west, so that is going to completely distract his entire rendezvous squad here. He's already taking shots. Oh, yep. Hitting nobody. Actually, the death sheep is down. He bled out. Disc like, attack, uh, he opened it up from the south. Oh, that took out somebody. Yep. That would have been Hitchens, I think. Hitchens is down. Four left for the U.S. Good effective fire. They've got effective crossfire coming from both sides, or from the, the south and the west. The techies are wrecking. LAT Meantime, firing frags in. Best Pony's coming in from the southwest. Hutch is coming in from the straight west. Leading the way with his guys. He's got Shadow Ritual Squad right behind him. Jack Reynolds pushing in from that northeast side now, getting his guys to clear this compound. They've Someone's actually pushed see in. Nuke Duke him here. Someone's totally going to see him. Looks like Cool, cool Breeze or Noble Six, maybe. Oh, he's going to eat a rocket from Noble Six. Oh, is he? There, Nuke Duke goes down. So we got Fulcrum left. Fulcrum's the last one. Last man standing. He's he's dead. Good game. Cool Breeze and Noble Six combined to take him out. That is a good game. All well, right. That, that went pretty poorly for the U.S. That was rough. We Holy had, what we have, about eight minutes left or so. So that was a long, long one. And Best Pony leads the way with 10 kills. Yeah, what an amazing round for him. Really nice work from Best Pony yeah, on that yeah, one. All yeah, these guys did great work. One time, man, with three. Great patience by the insurgents. So that's the big thing. They just were patient, Absolutely. disciplined. They held their spots. They had a command the whole time. <laughs> That's where it hurt the U.S. so bad. They lost so many <laughs> leadership roles. Just so many so fast. I mean, Absolutely. Next thing you know, it, it was rough. But we get to do it again. We are not done. We get yeah, to roll I, the map, I, flip it around. I'm not sure if they're just going to roll it and start again as quick as possible or if they're actually going to go back to, and, and try and roll and start quick again like we did, which was uh, all it did was take longer to start. So... Yeah. Thanks for being Seems patient with odd. us on this one. Hopefully it'll uh, go a little quicker starting round two here. Oh, we're going into another map, so we'll see what happens. If you guys like it and you want to try it out, come check us out at squadops.gg. There's a link to our Discord there. Uh, you, you see the Nightbot spamming the shit out of this chat channel a little too much. But a little too much. We're working Just a on smidge. It. We'll get that fixed. Kind of a new thing, working with it. All right, looks like they're rolling the map again they will roll this twice actually so that'll be a little bit weird but they're doing that to ensure that we end up back on the same map but on opposite sides yep so they'll roll it again after this hopefully yep just heard from hyper that they are doing a double roll so okay. they'll switch to this map switch to another map and then they will switch back to where we're supposed to be and we will have people on the opposite teams and everything will be hunky dokey so right now we're back on the same teams i think they're going to just roll it right back to this map yep one more time and then we will be all set match starts ticks down about 10 seconds and ends all right <laughs> All right, perfect. Yep, as soon as this is over, we'll hit the next one. And hopefully we'll be able to go right into it because we did get a late start today. Let's hope. Let's hope. We'll see if they are going to do a briefing before or how they're going to do that. But, yeah. Yep, well, I'm sure they will do a little bit. Yeah. In the meantime, let's go over the cameras again. All these guys that are putting in the time. What are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 people besides us matter doing this. Yeah. Wow. That's a good list of folks. That's probably why we, we can't quite do instant replays tonight because of so many cameras. But I'll, I'll read their names real quick again. Go We've for it. We've got Google, Google Trex, Xbit, Merrick362, The Silverman, Truth Realm, It's Crispy, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony, Hyper Evo, Crusty the Sailor, Big Yes, and Server Error 404. Amazing. Thank you to all those guys that do these cameras. They're the ones who bring you some really, really cool stuff, letting you see what's on the ground. And yeah, they get to can't the thank good, them enough. The good shots. The good shots. We just we just float around and, you know, 
call out stuff from above, like we're some sort of, you know, godparents watching over the field, you know. <laughs> and Meanwhile, it's fun for us. See if Squad 5 gets made here. Yep, waiting on that command squad to get made so we can hop back in, get our commentator squad up, and get you guys set. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll be... Match is starting in 40 minutes, then they'll do their little briefing. Yeah, and with the time restraints, we can definitely look for them to try and be as quick as possible. Hutch is already calling out the orders and making sure that everything is set up beforehand. So seems like they're trying to get a quick start this time around, which will be great. Everyone will be spotted in about 10 seconds. Then you'll see us switch over to our flying magical cams in the sky. All right, there we go. And Hutch did just call out that he will be doing a quick briefing once everybody gets in. All right, Karma had them all spawn center cash. We can look for him to do it here. I expect we'll see a similar strategy. Oh, they're all spawning in center. Wow. Yeah, look at them. So that means they're not even going to look to scrounge those vehicles that spawn on the west or the northwest or anything like that. I would imagine if you know, they're not... all spawning in there. We'll see. I'm really not sure. I don't think Karma has any ideas for that. And Karma suicided. He... Oh, well, he that's good. Do something else, I guess. I didn't really do something. Just felt like hanging out there, you know, doing something different. I mean, maybe he wanted to get a squat or a uh, scout kit. I've seen that happen from time to time. It's a good kit for a for a commander because you've got the binox there, you've got those anti tank mines and stuff. So we'll see if what he does. You definitely don't get as effective as of a gun in the scout or the SKS, right? right. But overall, it's still a very effective role. And you get that IED that you can play around if you want to. Do those vehicle bound IEDs. It looks like Hutch is doing something a little different than Karma did from what I'm hearing so far. He says that they are going to be moving fast and quick, and they are going to look to get in there before the INS has too much of a chance to get set up. So we'll see how that works out for him. You know that that's good though. If once they take contact, they still have time. And but it, it's definitely this is catered to the insurgents. Oh yeah, this is an insurgent sided one, and you know it should be. I guess you know we could have got into the entire theory of balancing sides versus sides, and I believe that's something I've heard that that's something that. Squad Ops used to do was like, oh, we needed to have this many people on this side, this many on this side, but it ended up being that uh, we were just going to let it let it roll, see what happens, get even sides yeah, in and we, see what we happens. Tried, we tried to, you know, set have the insurgents outnumber the U.S. or, or vice versa, and I mean, most of the time, it, it's difficult, first of all, to get the team sorted out, and, and especially when there's 70-some people wanting to go. <laughs> you can only have so many on a team. Just so yeah, that's we went with rough. keeping the teams so even and changing the roles and kits <sighs> and vehicular hey, was there like assets. Hey, Try and keep it as even as possible. Yeah. And you know what? They're not all even. They're, some sides have the advantage. Some have the disadvantage. Most of the time, the U.S. are at a disadvantage, which makes them have to work a little harder to win it, which is great. I think that's awesome. That that makes you have to try hard. And as the insurgents, you, you know you have to execute and if you screw up too much, then the U.S. will come and win. So we'll see. Absolutely. We'll see how this goes. So Firebat is telling me in chat that you apparently punch horses in the nose. Muff, is that a is that a true statement? Well, I don't know. Is there anything to disprove it? That's true. Uh, I have no evidence suggesting otherwise. So to me, you you probably do. I have rode a horse or two before in my day. I'll tell you that. I've been bucked off a horse or two in my day as well. 
Well, if you've been bucked off a horse, maybe it was that horse that received a good punch in the nose. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think I've ever actually hit a horse. Maybe smacked on the butt a little bit. <laughs> you know, get going. But yeah, yeah, I've, I've been bucked off a lot of horses. I don't. I'm honestly, I'm not a big fan of riding horses because I've had a gotcha. lot of not so good experiences with them. My mom is like crazy. <laughs> she is an awesome horse lady. She is awesome on horses. Yeah. It's really cool to watch her. I get on there and I'm like a four-year-old on a unicycle. It just doesn't work. You know? <laughs> I tell you, I've only ever rode one once and it was not a great experience. Uh, zero out of 10 would not do it again. I did actually saddle break a little filly with my mom one time. We went and took a to this class you know and did all this stuff and mm -hmm. i did not get bucked off there i saw a couple other people get bucked off but i had a i had a good horse i think is what happened <laughs> my mom my mom gave me the good horse she knew it was going to be a good easy saddle break one so well getting back into it here it looks like hutch is about to do his briefing we could we could go in here and let you guys listen to that so let's let you guys listen here good last round you guys did good it was awesome. I mean, it's kind of set up for the insurgents to smack the shit out of the U.S. a little bit on this one as it currently sits. So we may do some adjustments. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but regardless, outstanding work. It executed exactly as I planned. We were flexible and on the move. We even executed a great attack there at the end. I wish it was there was more guys we could have duped out at that fob. All right. This is going to be crazy. All right. And here's why. Um both the caches spawn south road which means this is the game plan we're going to be going clockwise the the other the other team went counterclockwise we're going to be going clockwise all right we're going to be setting up our fire support base um i initially had planned it on that south position but looking at how close they are fuck it fuck it we're still going to do it we're going to go south it's it, it's still enough of a distance it's going to be crazy but it's going to speed up this whole second round a little bit no problem. So, here's the game plan. You guys have been set up with with uh, vehicles, drivers. Squad one is going to be the vehicle driver squad, essentially, and then providing that central core security around. So, anyone that's not an essential driver or gunner, so essentially three guys in first squad are going to be dedicated to vehicles. Everyone else is going to be that center nucleus security for the vehicles. All right. So, if you have to do a security halt. It's the rest of first squad's job to defend the vehicle. All right. Best pony is going to be providing fob defense. So in the event we make it around this whole big bitch, we will have some base perimeter defenses there. Especially this is going to be important because of the insurgent cash locations and how close they are to where we're going to be. Okay. So expect to have some contact right out the gate as we move. Okay. So the objective is to move up pretty effectively and quickly up to essentially the fob location at which point squad three is going to out as the element we're going to give them plenty of distance before squad one rolls out and then squad four is going to pull that rear security okay um if we get contact we're going to harden up as best we can read the terrain take your time okay once we pass the fob take your time all right we got all the time in the world but know that we're going to be getting into enemy territory relatively quickly from that from those locations just due to where the caches are okay so that's the game plan any initial questions this is going to be a lot of flexibility and a lot of just rolling with the punches okay but the most important thing is the front sweep ensuring that the road is clear to a certain point so we know how far we can bring the striker up to provide that fire support for us and if nothing else that striker is going to be a stationary heavy machine gun emplacement okay one good thing that we have happening here is we have terrain to our advantage where we have more distance to be able to engage targets at okay so expect enemy rockets things of that nature to return fire as much as possible violence and aggression all right fire superiority and just close with and let's and just give these guys a fucking fight all right so that's the game plan questions it's possible for them to uh go up to delta four area right on that mountain and look down on their base right off the start is it not all right, all right. Well, it seems like both teams briefed and are done at the same time uh you got to hear what mm -hmm. the u.s are going to do why don't you go over what their main plan is matter yeah, absolutely. So it looks like the U.S. is going to be shoving out quickly to this Delta IV keypad 2 area where you see the green fob mark. And after they shove out quickly to that location, they're going to drop their fob and then they are going to start moving in a column, basically, along this 
path that they have to walk. They're going to get their first squad, squad one, to be in charge of the vehicles and also kind of sending the forward scouts out. They've got squad four watching their back, and it looks like the one of the other squads, squad three, is going to hang on at that fob and be kind of their their fire base. And then squad two is going to be acting as a flanking or QRF force. They're going to be maneuvering around, flowing through buildings, seeing what they can do there. But ultimately, their goal is to try to move faster, and they're going to be moving clockwise this time around, whereas last time the U.S. decided to go counterclockwise. So this time they're going around the other way. All right, we're live in about 30 seconds. I'll run over the insurgent plan real quick. Karma's going to send a squad east to scout and see where the U.S. are coming from. And he made that very clear that it's a scout team, not an engagement team. So hopefully they won't shoot at anything. They'll just figure out where they're coming from, and then they'll be able to fall back, and they can set up an IED ambush on the foot soldiers that are coming in. That'd be great. I think there's also going to be a squad going up to the north of D.C. and the south of D.C. in the hills. So yeah, we'll, we'll see, see how that works out. Soldiers. He's going to spread them out really good, but that could work out well. Uh, could result in a lot of crossfire on the units. And we're live. Live, live, live. Juke in the box. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here. Hey, good old Juke in the box. Hanging out with us. Glad to see you. Uh, let's go over the command and squad lead elements again. They're the same as last time, but, you know, always good to give these guys a shout out. They put in a lot of hard work for it. So command for the U.S. side this time around is Hutch, and he's got his capable squad leaders under him, Best Pony, Lish, Shadowed Ritual, and Jack Reynolds. What do you got over there on the INS side for us, Muff? We have got the founder and director himself, Karma Cut, commanding the insurgent forces. Underneath him, in no particular order, are his squad leaders, Google Trex, Xbit, Nasty Nate, and Krusty the Sailor. I'm Doing already a lot seeing anti tank mines being put down. Yeah, the U.S. has pushed themselves out with that Lodgy very quickly to that Delta 4 keypad 2 area. And they are setting up the fob that is Best Pony, looks like, setting that up. I don't know if that anti-tank mine is in, is actually uh, in the route. Let me check here. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry. So that anti-tank yeah. mine is so, nil. Yeah, they don't have to clear that one. It's not in the route. <laughs> <laughs> that's whatever. Whoopsie. You're bad. And that's the thing. A lot of guys, they, they don't read the, the briefings. They don't look at the maps. They don't know what's going on because frankly people are lazy they don't want to read the shit and figure out what's going on or read the rules and then they get banned and they don't know why and well it's their fault <laughs> so if you're interested in playing and partaking in this learn read the rules or you're going to make a silly mistake like jay remick did right up here and put a mine where they don't have to clear it so that's a lost yeah you know mine that they don't <laughs> yep. have to clear so always check the briefing it's posted by hyper evo every <laughs> single event in the announcements channel uh faffinator down here to the south actually putting a mine properly on the road always good yeah he has it in nice. a, a good location that's a nice place that's a little corner you gotta check good to see that the fob meanwhile has gone down in that delta four keypad two location and nasty nate and his squad are actually very close to that fob they they could hear it if they pushed a little south yeah yeah nasty nate and crusty the sailor are both reporting contact Karma Cut wants them to go for the Lodgy. Wow. But they've already dropped the, the supply, so it's yep. they probably don't want to hit it anymore. They might be going for the striker. Actually pulling the Lodgy out of there. Yeah, it looks like they might try to go hide it or something. Oh, oh no, we're gonna no, we're no, gonna see no, Trusty's squad engage. They're gonna engage soon. He uh, said we'll he eyes on the Lodgy and he asked to engage, and Karma said Roger. So let's see. It's just down the Oh, they got a lot of foot soldiers in front of them, too. That they do. Oh! And the, rocket, oh. the rocket is a miss. Oh, and everyone hits the deck, and they're all looking south. Fire going in on that hill. Hyper Evo's out front. He's shooting up. He's got the saw. Another rocket goes in. It actually hits this time. Dermoplast goes down. I don't know if he was the rocket gunner or not. Uh, Another know. guy goes down for the INS. Fig is down. Krusty's falling back. He's running. They've got pull the back, entire insurgent forces or right, U.S. forces chasing him down. Smoke grenades everywhere. Red, white, and blue. Wow. So that's kind of crazy. The the INS definitely had full inflate here, and they, 
I don't think they killed anybody, did they? Uh, negative. Nope. They they hit the Lodgy. I don't even think they killed the Lodgy. Uh, nope. Lodgy's still up. It's running. It's just sitting it, there doing its it, thing. It really didn't matter, though, because they'd already dumped the supplies. Right. Right. So now the U.S. are going to have the altitude advantage on this hill. In the meantime, Nasty Nate squad is up north. They, I think, are the scout squad, so I believe their orders are not to fire. All right. Well, that would make sense. They said they were going south. Looks like Best Pony might be the one, might be the squad that is going to hang out here by this this fob, or at least some of them. Oh, mortars going out, Space Monkey. On those mortars, firing them out, and they are definitely hearing. They are hearing Nasty contact. Oh man, what a shot! What a shot! Wow. They hit. They hit him a couple times too. He was running away, and he got hit once, and then wow. again. So that was best pony and bird person, sneaky yeah, sniper, DJ Turner, all in this area firing up there. Sober pod, whoever that was, great work! Wow, great shot. Yeah, good job by that squad. Slinger goes down, and just Ooh. like we said, the U.S. have the altitude advantage. They have got the insurgents on the run. Trust me, take out Derma. Oh no, no that's cool breeze has already right. taken somebody out. Somehow Moriid's kid just had an explosion go off right in front of him and he's unhurt. That's interesting. Krusty goes down. Krusty's down. Moriid's kid gets hit. Matrix is hit. Griff is hit. Look at them tracers coming in. The U.S. are not saving any ammo for later. They're shedding it. They know they got to carry it all the way around this gauntlet track that they're going through, so they might as well lighten the load. Well... If the INS is going to have to move through open ground to pull back like this, they wanted to get that early engagement. They were really sure they wanted that early engagement, and this is what it led to, you know? Yeah, All these guys just spread out on this hill. Yeah, they just saw them, and they didn't position. They they just kind of mm -hmm. stopped and then started shooting. Matrix gets taken down as well. Good, it's good tap. Oh, someone else just went down. That was Demind. Demind 41, yep. No, or was that Griff? That was Griff. Oh, that was Griff. The so mind is still up, just still hiding. Up. He's taking control of the squad. He's their squad leader now. Moriut's kid is getting bullets rained down on cool him. Breeze laying in some heavy fire on him with that saw, just opening up. More uh, mortar fire coming out. Absolutely. So I think we're down to Demine, Fulcrum. Or actually, no, Demine, Mori eats kids and the Fafinator from Krusty's squad, so they have lost six. And you can see the bodies, just a, a line of them, like you could connect the dots up to the top of that hill from where they were running away, getting gunned Absolutely. down. Absolutely. Meanwhile, the U.S. has apparently lost one. I'm not sure who they even lost. Oh, Magus Arcanus was the only one that has gone down for the U.S. So currently, it stands at seven kills to one kill. You know what? There's no kills logged for Oh, the, then he must have just... So he might have had suicide. suicide. Yeah. He probably changed yeah, roles. Okay. Yeah. So seven kills to no kills currently. The U.S. with a great start here. Much different than what we saw last time. Yeah, we're only eight minutes in or seven minutes in, and Hutch has already got his guys down on the south side here. I do wonder if... Maybe they got a little antsy with that engagement. Krusty and his crew, they didn't have a good plan for how they were going to fall back. They didn't have good cover for how they were going to fall back. And oh, yeah. That... I don't think they expected the speedy push. And there's mortars coming in. I just heard a call out from Jack Reynolds. They found the mine, the Fafinator, placed here on this corner, and they dug it up. It is now gone. They have cleared that mine. That will clear out those... You know what? They've only got... Look at this mine placement. I don't think the U.S. or the insurgents realize that that, that middle road of D.C., there's one, two, three, three mines in there that are yep. totally ineffective. They could be IEDs, too. A couple of them could be IEDs. We know that Jay Remick did place one a little prematurely in a wrong spot. But for the most part, the insurgents are making the U.S. job easier. Now we hear that striker moving up. They engaged with the infantry very effectively, and now that they know that they cleared the mine there, now they can move the big guy in, roll that striker in. It looks like the rest of the INS forces have decided to kind of hold up on the north, 
They have moved themselves off way to the north, and it seems like they might just decide that it's not worth it to try to engage again. Let them come to us. Which is something that the INS did very effectively in the first round. They let the U.S. come right to them, and they used it to their advantage. So we'll see how they do here. I wonder why they're all running north right now. That's sort of... Makes you wonder. Yeah, Karma's on the far west. He's way over here cruising around on a motorbike, or I don't know what his plan If he is. took a scout kit, that might have an IED on it. I believe that he's dropping his anti-tank mines on the road right now. Yep, I just saw it go down on the map. So he's putting him, He's putting one down here. He's actually putting them both, or at least maybe he's digging them. That'll be interesting. Oh, he's that's his IED. He put an IED down. So he's got an IED right on this corner. He's probably going to lay in wait for that striker to come by and blow it. Yeah. I could definitely see that if they don't manage to find it. I'm hearing Hutch call out that he wants to kind of get these. The force is set up effectively now. He's, he's trying to say that he wants to get one out front, you know, two on the north side, three on the south, and really get everything organized. It's, it's interesting how they're going to set up here for this push. Yeah, and that's they a took weird a little IED moment placement. to kind of pause. That's yeah, a weird that's IED placement weird. by Karma Cut because I got a note here saying that they got to keep IEDs off the road. So dun, he put it right dun, there on dun. the road. So this has kind of been a cluster of a of a mission. <laughs> That'll be uh, a a good uh, good thing for our little post uh, op briefing. I hear the striker idling. They're just hanging out. Everyone's it's looking. It's moving hard. a little. Oh, yeah, he's rolling down the hill. There we go. Oh, and it stopped. Hyper has pushed out far west, and they're now laying in mortars. Yeah, mortars. Oh, Nasty Nate says, I, I died. Yeah, you mortars, did, Nate. Back you back guys are right up there. They just pushed into that uh, forward, okay. firebase location real quick. That's, that to be fair, goal, and it worked. To be fair, Nate, it was a really good shot that took you out. It was, uh, it was a nice long ways. There's mortars coming in just north. They're laying down fire on that city, thinking that there might be INS in there. They are not wrong. There is INS there. They're just far off to the north from where those shots came in. They're running a great staggered column on both sides of the roads. They're a little close together, but eh, not too much to worry about. They could take a rocket, though. Absolutely. Something that I just heard, Magus Arcanus and One Tap were calling out that they have contact in Charlie 4, keypad 5. So that's the area inside the city. So they're seeing more Eats kids, Fulcrum, those guys, it seems like. Yeah, and, and they actually, they could go all the way around to the west side and and just maybe go all the way around those guys if they yep. don't move. Because that is not a route that the striker has to take. That is not a road it has to go. Okay, up. I'm getting more. I'm getting more like false information here. Karma Cut's asking if they're going north into DC, and there's no reason they would ever do that because that's not yeah, where the, would they? the path they're clearing is going to be. So a lot of, I don't want to say ignorance, but people just aren't sure what the briefing is here. I don't think in the in the mission objectives, uh, including command, mm -hmm. which is gonna. I can see why the. This side that I'm following has struggled so much because of their lack of direction. And and at least the retention of information is not there, or they just have <laughs> never given with, it. Um, this bullshit first. It's almost frustrating from a viewer's building, point of view when you're rooting for, you know. So I'm always rooting, rooting for the team that I'm floating over. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you got to do that, you know. Like, that's, that's your team for the night, you know. And it's, man, I just want to fly down there and take over, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm on Cloud Nine over here. You know, I've, I've got my, <laughs> yeah. I got my Hutch's God T-shirt on, and you know, <laughs> just hanging out, feeling good. Actually, Hutch Command is driving the striker right now. That's that's how confident he is in himself. Hey, and you know Wait, what? No, he is. No, he's driving the Logi. He's driving the oh, Logi. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the bump, Logi. Really and then just say key three, key Four. At least there is a lot more communication going on in the comms on the insurgent side right now. That's good. That's, That's good. good to hear. It's always good to hear communication. What I'm really impressed by, Hyper Evo, Chappie, Cool Breeze, this big, long, staggered column out front clearing these mines, working on it. Hyper Evo, 
just absolutely way out here in front. Oh, no fear, spear, clearing compounds. Spearheading Very the through. hell out of it. He is just right, isn't he? Out of it, going up there. He's led the way the whole time. Yep. He was, if I recall, he was the one who was furthest west whenever those contacts came in on the hill from Krusty's squad. He was the one furthest west. He dropped down and started laying hell on him, you know? And he got somebody, too. I just checked. Yeah. He got. He did get somebody. Good for him. Striker for taking him. shots. That's Jay Remick. Gets dropped. Just boom. Wow. Down. Yo, real quick. You know, he probably... Uh, be aware of Let me check. Uh, he was just a scout. Well, that's an IED down then if he's a scout. Yep. That is an IED right. somewhere that is ineffective. Karma Cut gave the harden up order. So we can ah. look to see them. Hopefully they're going to hunker down and not go poking their heads out. While these U.S. forces are slowly moving along. I wonder if Hyper's going to see that IED that Karma Cut placed up here. It's going to be a little bit till he gets there. But we yeah, shall see. How far in are we? We're we're twenty five minutes in. No, fifteen. Fifteen in is all. So this is good. The U.S. are making pretty good time. I gotta say they're moving at a much better pace than last round. Yeah, they've got that. They've got their initial push squad, the tip of the spear, going in. You know, no fear. They know what they they know the risks of the situation they're in, and they're willing to accept it, and they're moving, Hybrid, which is great. They're, they're nonstop. Look at Hyper leading the way. He knows that someone's got to, you know, inspire everyone to go. Unless, uh, so to he's doing it. He's, look, he's sprinting up the example. hill right now. Yep. Exactly. He's just tearing up. He's saying, come on, guys. If someone goes down, it'll be me and you guys can kill whoever killed me. But he needs them to catch up. He needs them to come. The only one anywhere close to him, as far as INS side, would be Karma Cut up there watching his IED that's on that road. That's exactly correct. And you know what? Hyper Evo, if he sees it, he's going to go up there with his shovel, and he's going to start digging it. Boom! He's going <laughs> to die. I can just see it coming, if, even if it's just I'm one ready. Shovel. Karma Cut's going to pull the trigger on that, I guarantee you. Well, rather than losing it, he'll at least take the one guy kill, you know? Oh, man. I, I'm ready for it, though. You know, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be humorous oh, yeah. to see if it goes down. Yeah. Should we check through 10 stars? Because you know Hyper will know what's going on. He'll just, he'll probably accept his fate, you know, just go up there with that shovel and start digging it and be like, see you later, guys, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. DeMind has now called out the striker. He gave it a great call out, Bravo 5, keypad 9, sub key 1. Yeah, he nailed it. He nailed the, the call out on the striker. So they're fully aware of where it's at. There's not a lot they can do. I'm going to see if we got any. Rockets, let's see. Havoc's alive. Yep, he's good to go. Silverman's good to go. Oh, yeah, they got some. They've definitely got some rockets to go. Let's see. Fig yeah. is dead, though. He's already lost his, so, yeah. That call out, I think that came in from Fafinator, and then he passed it on to the mind, who then passed it on to Command. He's the only one that I see down here that would have any eyes on that location, so. Oh, yeah. eyes from can... him. Nice work. He can definitely, and he was there when Jay Remick got shot, so he heard the yep. striker shoot at him. He saw the tracers come out of it. He's keeping track of it. Yeah, you can see right down. here, striker in the foreground, Fafinator in the in the back there, just looking out, keeping eyes, letting people know what's going on. And that striker is pushing up the road now with Hutch in tow in the Lodgy. It's interesting that he decided to take the Lodgy with him. I. You, you don't have to, but he apparently decided that he wanted to take a drive for the night, you know? Well, just as a spectator, I have thought zero about strategy in this until right now. I would think if they do see a mine on the road, oh. Hutch can get that thing, you know, going full speed and then bail, and boom, the mine will blow it up, the truck will be out of the way, but they'll have a mine cleared. So that, I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. That's the only reason I could see bringing it, because it's just another loud vehicle that's going to give away your position. Or, you know, use it if you're pushing through a rough area and you want to go quick, shove it in front, put an expendable in it, and let them meet a mine, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, it, yeah, that's the big thing I was thinking. You know, if they see a mine down yeah. the road, send that lodgy right into it and bail, you know, 30 meters ahead of it so you don't die with it. Yeah. You know, you might get shot, but at least you're not getting blown up. Hyper Evo and Jack Reynolds now. Oh, we've got shots coming in on. Oh, Fafinator gets hit. Fafinator. What just exploded there? That was a GL. Oh, yeah, they GL got GLs. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
Vaffinator's alive. He's hurting. He's running away. The engagement was called out. Oh, Vaffinator's getting away. He's going to get away. One tap chasing him down, though. We'll see if he can get it. He probably won't get it. Oh, he's going to. A... He's got it. He's going to. If he looks right, he'll see him. I don't think he knows that he needs to look right. Oh, maybe. No, if he doesn't, and Fafinator's going to sneak on out of there. Alive, at least. He's hurting pretty good, but he's alive. Karma Cut just said he's got eyes on the striker. He is probably just going to wait for it to push up. He could do some damage with that IED coming up here. We're almost to the 30 minute mark, which means we've been live for almost 20, uh, 20 minutes. Jack Reynolds and Hyper Evo are pushed off in this Western compound, clearing it together. Good little work between these two. I got to say, that's great to see them spearheading, pushing through, getting the clear, calling it out as they move. It's good to see. Oh, yeah. The point men are the real heroes. They know that they are most likely going to die really early and most likely to a one tap or or a grenade or, you know, <laughs> the, the ambush. They're going to be the ambush shot. And they do it fearlessly. Uh, what kind of enemy unit? Oh, has, like, Karma Chappie. Cut called. You know, Karma Cut called the ID. He's gonna touch it off in a minute. So about 50 seconds from now. Chappie moving up there. He's almost by it. Just for the red band. Hey man, we're able to salvage vehicles, correct? Yeah, Roger that. Chappie didn't see the ID. Nope. Chappie leaves it. There oh, it goes. and there it goes. Noble six. He only gets noble six. Man, cool breeze is bleeding. That was it. Just noble six. Cool breeze is bleeding. They got a medic right there, I believe. Everything's going to be yeah. fine for the U.S. He is all right. Uh, yep. You know what? No one saw it either. No one saw that ID. Man, they were probably... The fuck out of somebody. <laughs> Karma cut saying he bets it scared the hell out of somebody. Well... I'm hoping Noble Six wore his brown pants today, you know? Yep. He had a bad day. You know, the scary thing about dying to an IED like that is that you don't even know what you died to some of the time. Oh, it no. It goes so boom, quick. you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, you're just, just like at the spawn screen. Yep. <laughs> it can be scary. I, I had it happen to me. I can't remember the, the mission, but they put an IED on the other side of a wall from me. And I was holding the corner, watching the door, ready, and then I was at the spawn screen. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, and they'll blow through walls and stuff. I'm surprised that the sandbags contain that as much as they did. It should have oh. taken out, like, three guys. I'm hearing shots coming in from the north. Krusty. No, or, Krusty's no, that's... dead. That's Karma Cut. Yeah, Krusty's so... long dead. That's Karma Cut. It's like Bravo 7, Key 7. Where are we at? It Time seems like 28 minutes. All right. Seems like he's the only one taking fire or putting in any fire. Yeah, Karma's just he says he's just screwing with him. Fire yeah, a couple shots. Might as well, you know, get them get them panicking, hold up their movement a little bit, make them think that they have contacts or more than one contact, you know. Yeah, and the longer they can delay him over here, that means that they're gonna have to rush through this northern side where a majority of their team is at right now. Absolutely. So the big thing is just to lay him. No, well, six yeah, here, Karma dead on the corner. He did, did one-tap somebody from, from up there, yeah. Where where did he kill him at? I'm looking at Noble Six's body. He's the one who died to the IED. So I don't I don't think so. I don't think he actually got anybody. He's got a kill so far. Oh no, oh. that was the that was the IED that killed him. That was that the was ID the that IED killed Noble yeah. Six. So, he so that's it. Actually hasn't killed anybody. Oh, oh, fire coming in on Karma Cut. Oh, he's hit. Karma's hit. That's not good for the insurgents right now. Cool breeze hit him with that AR opening up. That saw, Honey cereal yeah, and Cool Breeze know he's up there now. Chappy Hyper Evo and Silent Death chasing after. Oh, the striker's opening up. I don't think he was shooting at Karma. Karma Cut is falling back. Yes, he did. He killed Karma. He oh, killed Karma, Karma Cut's down. Great the shot striker by the striker. The striker killed Karma. Yep. Oh, the mind called command down, though, so they realize he's down. 
Who's gunning uh, this thing? Up. Is, gonna hold is that big yes on it? Big yes gunning that. Takes down Karma. Granted, you got that 20 times optic, so that's a nice thing, but right. still. Four. That is it worked great. a very good shot work. from him. Good shot. Made yep. it happen. Go. Good job, big yes on that. Taking out command. Now, that being said, I will say this time, the INS seems to have their command, you know. Hold, hold where you're at. Harden up. Wait for them to come to you. Take them out when they get to you. So it seems like they at least have standing orders this time around. So we'll see what happens well, yeah, with that. Expit hasn't missed a beat. He's taken over his command. He's barking orders saying, stay there. Plan still holds. Well, that's the nice thing about having an experienced commander on your team as a squad lead. Because Expit, he has commanded many a mission in squad ops. So he knows exactly what to do. He knows exactly how to accomplish the objective. And losing a command is not the end of the world if you've got a very experienced commanding squad lead under you. Cool. They said they're coming from the west. Southeast. Way northwest. Everybody else is pretty much falling back. Looks like Fafinator got himself healed. He's coming back up to where Karma cut died. That's not gonna. It's not gonna be too good for him. Hopefully, he can kill a couple guys before they find him. U.S. putting about... out some red and blue smokes on where they saw that contact, but nobody said everybody did. We hit about half time here on the match, and they're about halfway through the map. So good time by the U.S. being made. They are gonna have to pick it up. Hyper Evo still just way out in front saying, let's go, just guys, spearhead. let's go. Look at the clock, 24 minutes. Let's go, let's go. He's going to walk up right over to Karma Cut's body. Chappy, we should space out a bit more. Bet you he'd have a few choice words for him if he knew it was Karma Cut, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hyper is just pushing up past here. He has just been the spearhead. He has not had any fear this entire round, and that... That is so great to see. Gotta love it. I am the first guy in. Yeah. That is his job the entire round. Uh, move past me, I'll be holding the hill. Oh yeah, Looks... he's, he's looking at the ground a lot. Looking for those mines. Yeah. Keeping his eyes peeled, nose in the dirt. You know, if he gets shot, he gets shot. He's willing to accept that. If he sees the mine first, then he did his job, right? If you're on the right side of the road, you're sweeping the compounds on the right. Coming up behind him, supporting him, Chappie the and Colbury's been pushing behind him pretty much the entirety of the op. Jack Reynolds, immune style. Yeah, that's Silent Jack Reynolds' Death. squad, isn't it? Yeah, that's so, Jack Reynolds' squad. Yeah. That's great to see because it seems like Jack has settled in nicely to this role. He knows that they are the forward squad, and he is not afraid to push his guys out and use his resources as he should. Yeah, and they're looking at them spreading out. They're clearing buildings, covering themselves really well. In the meantime, Fafinator's up on a hillside. He, he's going to be yeah. looking down on them as they walk by. He definitely has the potential to take out a couple, but he better get up and run quick because they are going to be lighting him up, and there's not a lot of cover for him there. Well, yeah, you saw what happened to Karma. He was just kind of screwing around, firing in a couple shots, and then as he tried to leave, that striker came in. Yeah, we're going to have to wait until the U.S. get almost all the way into District Center before we're going to see any more contact. Yeah. Besides the Fafinator, it's going to occur soon. Check in on the Fafinator situation right here. And the Fafinator is a scout role, so... He doesn't have a lot of firepower to deal with them. I don't know where his IED is or where his anti-tank mines are, but they're not up here by him. In fact, Hyper Evo is about oh, 70 meters from being visible. Yep. I doubt he'll open up. I imagine he's acting as a forward. Oh, mortars raining in. Where are those at? Almost on top of Fafinator. Yeah. Those were good mortars, you know. They decided they didn't want to push up on that hill, so they didn't want to necessarily take that compound without having some initial support on it. So they put in two two to three rounds on, of indirect fire on this little compound here and use that to clear it out. Use that to put people in a bad place. So great to yeah, see. And, That's and a good do, thought. That, that'll do three things for them. It'll either kill whoever's up there, It'll yep. make whoever's up there run out of there in fear of dying, and then they'll be seen and get killed. Or 
they're going to hunker down in a building and sit there afraid of dying while the U.S. just stroke right on by on that northern road. Good, smart use of mortars. I can definitely say the use of mortars by Hutch around here has well, been really fantastic. All right, Fafnader's got eyes on Hyper Evo now. I can see him I following just, him with his binocs. I just Fafnader. heard Hutch call in two more rounds of mortars. I heard him go off. <laughs> we'll see him land here shortly. They're probably up on that same compound. I doubt they'll get Faf, but, you know. And here it comes in. Boom. Great. One on that compound. Great mortars. Very great mortars. Yep. Magus Arcanus has pushed off here to the east as well, along with Munger. And they are flanking through that compound, checking it out from the south a little bit. Nobody in there, but it's good that they're checking it. It's good that they're making these moves. That's what I like yeah, to see. That's a really good move. That really is a good move by them. Fafinator. Definite eyes on all this force here, so they know exactly where exactly where they're going to be moving. And I'm sure he's not going to open up now with that SKS. No, 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 no. Not at all. Even even throwing a grenade is it's just a sure death for him. He probably found himself a nice bush, and he's just going to hunker up in it, and that is his bush. <laughs> now, looking, at, I'm on the next insurgent. It was Triton, and he's got Hyper Evo and, and company coming his way. They're a ways out. I think they're going to have to make it down this road a little further before he's actually going to see anybody. Oh, shots go in. Faf dies. Oh, they uh, took out Faf. Someone saw Fafinator. That was Server Air 404. Right, yep, Server Air 404. I'm pretty sure it's the one that got him. Wow. Yeah. See him yeah, kill? Hill there from like a oh, let's take a look here. here. Bravo, let's clear that. Yeah, I don't know. No, no. No, what Roger. him. Roger. Huh. Well, I don't know who it was, but that that was a great shot. There. That was good eyes to see him up there. Here, turn and fight, take him down. Don't Faf. Push, don't push. Fall back, fall Maybe back. he should have found himself right, a better bush. That one betrayed him. <laughs> well, and he he had the scout roll, so you got that okay. giant head red headgear on that sort of sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like a it's basically a target fire oh. here, right? Oh, there was Ooh. some good mortar fire. Got Agalock and Triton on their heels running away. Agalock almost thought about jumping off the building. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, said, he said shit, and he ran back towards the stairs. Not yeah, allowed to jump off buildings. Of yeah, that's no parkour stuff. Yeah, so that that oh, cleared them out. Actually, that just opened up that northern side for oh, the U.S. Oh, right there. Who is this? Enemies engaging our They're pushing on the mortar base. Copy. Uh, bearing on that again. Uh, bearing oh goodness! Is three thirty. Look at that. Uh, fifty meters. Yeah, actually, Silver Pud goes down. Meters, you know what? That's the fire, remainder uh, of Nasty Nate's down. squad. Copy. Mob Savage, salute number twelve, battle buddies over there on the far east side. Bird person taking some shots. Two guys down. Turner gets hit. Wow. Oh, that's Best Pony's calling out that contact, saying, you know, we've got guys over here to the east laying in some fire on the base so they can't use the mortars for right now. Ooh, Lots of grenades going out. A couple at least. The original compound where we held up. Yeah, two, two guys down at Best Pony Squad. Two, north, four, six, seven. Yeah. Yep. So Good job. And, and uh, Savage and Saloon number 12 getting the heck out of there. Push it yeah, back to they the seem north. to be pulling back. They now know where that base is, Anything though. They at least have that knowledge. They weaken their forces. They oh, now they, have the knowledge. They knew it was there when they shot at that logic oh, yeah. truck. I think they're all falling back, though, now. Got a couple of kills. Sneaking back. You know? I do Here wonder... If, Hyper Evo. I wonder if they took out their medic. There's, there's a couple guys hurt, and they're not really moving to them. Let's see. You know what? They don't have a medic. Oh! Unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, yep, cool. No medics. Oh, Hyper Evo is spotted. I hear him hollering. Is that Hyper Evo? She oh, Nate out. Rest in peace, Hyper Evo. Looks like oh, it overshot him. Off the... It overshot oh. him. He's running away. He's whipping the bandages out. He's already bandaging. <laughs> He's hiding Google there. Google Trex yep. has reported that they're taking shots. 
get out of there. Look at out. Look at the spread that the U.S. have though. They've got they've got so many different angles right now. They're good spread out. Actually, wow, up here on this hill, Satan, Magnus, Arcanus. I'm not even sure whose squad this is. They're pushing down this hill, and they're going to run into Evan SMA, legit gamer. They take down Evan SMA very quick. Oh man, look at that! Cleared it out. Good work. This is a smart little flank. Keeping a good spread, maintaining oh, the elevation advantage. They take out legit gamer. Torch, and these Mock little and Lucid trades are the only two left up there. Lucid goes down as well. It's down to Torch Mock. He's got two guys right above Munger and Wantap Man. In the meantime, down at the main forces are getting engaged. Hold position. I can't fire him. Striker did get hit. Striker got hit. I can see its damage. Whoo! Mortar landed right above Goobzer. Google wow. Trex gets nicked. One tap in his crew is still trying to deal with Torch Mock up here. Just trying to figure out where he is. Another insurgent soldier goes down. Jack Reynolds squad pushing in. Hyper Evo still alive, and he's leading the way again. He's going in Man. first once more. You know, he got hit. Got healed, and he says, I am back in the front. I am your point man all day. Looks like Torch Mock has taken out a couple on the west. He finally goes down. I believe Satan or Taps or someone got him. Maybe Corsair. Hyper Evo is shooting through the... through the. Oh, down oh. he goes. Google Trex gets it. Jack Reynolds puts a nade, at, nade out into that compound. Doesn't get anyone, but it was close. That was a good name. Paradise doing what he does best, laying there with a gun out. Cool Breeze takes out Google Tracks. Goobzer goes down as well. That's Silent Death and Cool Breeze doing work. Silent Death doing some good work there. Pure Paradise still holding that little building of his. He's He could very well take out three or four U.S. soldiers if they choose to push in there before they Well, get we it. saw Best Pony yeah. last yeah. round. It's them. Unless you're covering each other really well, they're not going to know where he's dying from, and they'll just keep running in. We saw it a few, quite a few ops ago where actually uh, OD Tap killed a few with his pistol because they just kept yep. running in aimlessly at it. <laughs> Triton goes down. Cool breeze with that shot. Down. From the west, we've got Crispy, Corsair, Tap, Swan Tap Man, and Satan all just pushing in straight from the west. Honey Cereal is just off to their north. Uh, Mortars. Let's check out the kills. It's about 19 to 6. So the U.S. are w really up there in the kills. Mortars going well. shoving SM Pure Paradise. X-Bit opening up on Satan and One Tap up here on the mountain. Right on top of him. They call out the contact. One Tap here. Corsair and it's crispy sitting up on this hill. Pure Paradise just called out the striker. Xbit still staking the shots up there. Satan returning fire at Xbit. Just trading shots from this very long range. It's cool to see. It, in the meantime, the U.S. are pushing in slowly from the north. They, they're so close. As soon as they get through Pure Paradise here. And they, they got, got him. him. Jack Reynolds takes out Pure Paradise. He, he heard Cool Great Breeze and Silent Death work. and he turned. Great peek by Jack Reynolds. Get in there and get it done. Atta boy, Jack. This Always good to see him doing well. This point squad is kicking butt for the U.S. Absolutely. Got to give credit to Jack Reynolds for leading that along, doing really well with that, but also Hutch for commanding them, you know, giving them the courage to push out there and say, you know, you're going to have mortar support. You're going to have a hard time. Just make it work. And they have made it work. There's Insurgents mortars coming in. Talking about messing with them from behind, doing what they can. Yeah. They don't, there's just so many U.S. still alive that it's going to be hard for the insurgents to even get around at all. Absolutely. Carpy and Truth Realm are on the far south. They're both on the rooftop, which could, which could hurt. Satan just called out that position and said to them, it would be great if we could get a couple mortars, mortars right where x and them. Lol Havoc are. So we might nice. see another fire yeah, mission come in. Yeah, and if Carpy and Truth Realm get shot at, the only way down is the ladder that leads straight towards the enemy to the west. Ooh. 
Shots that could out. be rough for them. They, hopefully Those they mortars get are out. Let's see if they land on point. Look at the U.S. just swarming in. I hear them calling out spacing, spacing, spacing. Oh! And it gets tapped. Oh. Good rocket. Hit two of them. Didn't finish anybody, but it hit a couple. Gas Those stations mortars are on up. point. Shove an exit blown, or back into his building. Maybe we'll see. All right. Good patience by the uh, outer squads by, for the U.S. You know, like a, yeah. it's Crispy right. and Corsair over there. They're holding solid. See you one tap. Your squad lead now. Your alpha. Stand by. I got a dish go over. I got a dish go over here. The insurgents are trying to lure them in here. I, I'm sure they've got an IED on the ground somewhere down here. Oh yeah, we're clear out of there. So. Let's look here. Yeah, that bend in the road, right where it comes to a bend, for the first one, there are mines and IEDs and all kinds of nastiness around there. Lol, havoc goes down. Oh, yeah, there's two mines, and there's an ID really close. Right along a wall here somewhere. Expit putting in some down. shots. Serial and Expit about to run right They're yelling at Honey to be careful. He's in that building. Oh, right as Expit turns, he gets taken out by Serial on the peak shot. Great peak by Serial. Unlucky by Expit. Seems to be the story for the insurgents this round. Just, yeah. Just, wrong way at the wrong time that's what happened to pure you know he he hears two guys turns and, and jack reynolds pushes in you know x-bit hears a couple of footsteps outside or maybe needs to check another angle turns and gets taken out by cereal it's it's unfortunate but that's that's how it is it's a game of seconds you know come on chappy get back Very to the doctor so. you know oh hyper evil finally goes down someone finally got him the front oh there. he got taken out quite a bit earlier yeah. Uh, remember when they oh, first yeah, yep. made that right. push? He got Google tracks. He got hit through the, through the compound. Right. Some U.S. forces bleeding. Striker opens get... up, takes down. Oh, both of them. Both of them are and out. Truth. Oh, gosh. Four Carby and Truth Realm. So we're down to like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven insurgents, I believe. Eight. Wow. Fulcrum is way to the south. That striker is oh, moving nine. up though. There are mines in the road. See if they clear them. They are right there, too. They are just... Three mortars are coming in. Heard them firing in the distance. They gotta be careful with those mortars. They got a lot of friendlies in there. See where they hit. Oh, here they come. Oh, they're on the north. Oh, that striker is so close to that mine. Oh, bye-bye, oh. guys. Bye. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Nobody cleared it. Tear gun, and someone else just got taken out. Oh, what a mine. Son of a gun. There's, like, <laughs> two of them outside and two of the striker. They just got blown to smithereens. Nobody saw it. Nobody. They walked <laughs> right over it. I think it was Jack Reynolds right there. Jack Reynolds was the other one that well, went Well, you know, he didn't have his uh, – his... You know, mind didn't sniffing have the dog. Mind sniffer. Hyper, yeah, right? Hyper there. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been keeping his eyes a little too far up, you know, being squad lead. Sometimes try to yeah. look at the big picture. But what what a great mind. I was right above it. I hope everyone got to see that. That was really cool. <laughs> it just creeped up right onto it. And, uh, gosh, I was like waving at my screen when <laughs> when it blew. Like, bye bye, guys. Shuts out. Here comes some more mortars. Yep, we'll right, see where they go. There's a couple guys up to the north here. Yeah, it looks like Sightless and Odessa are over there kicking butt. I believe that Odessa's a medic, so she's healing up Sightless. Demine you know just I... took out a rock or something on the west side. He's sort of harassing from the back as well. So, oh, man. Those mortars Those are mortars close. Are on point. Silverman and Nuke Dukem and Agalock all in there. What I am noticing, though... There's only seven minutes left. Oh, yep. Seven minutes to go. So the U.S. have really got to get on the horse. They got bogged down super hard here, and they have not continued to push. If they can... Oh, I'm here in contact. Hutch is telling them, 
consolidate your men, get everybody together, set a point, man, and we're going to move. So it seems like they are ready to keep moving. And there's still another mine on this corner. The, oh, yeah. The striker hit one. Yep, we'll see if Immune Style sees it. He's right there in front of it. Silent Death is looking right towards it as well. Ch Chappie's coming down. Chappie's been in the front. He's a mine sniffer. Right there it is, just hanging out. Right on that corner. And there's also an IED placed in here, I believe, somewhere. Yeah, it's right over... Uh, it's right by a wall. Right I just can't one of those see little... it. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been at someone who's dead, too, right now for the incident. Absolutely. The numbers are dwindling. That could definitely be Jay Remix. I do wonder if Hutch has seen the time, if he even knows, you know? Yeah, they're down to about five minutes. We're almost 45 minutes in. Oh, man. Who's this right here? The mind laying in the corner. Kahuna peeking it. Oh, yeah. He's he's killed a couple guys there. Oh, the mind goes oh. down. That'll do him in. Nice. Nine. We're down to nine U.S. soldiers. Or, I'm sorry, insurgents. Caps and Magnetic opening up here. Lots of soft fire going anybody. out to the northeast. Not much going on. Look at that. The U.S. have completely gone right around the second mine. So we are going to see Hutch be lost here. If he dra oh, yeah. Here comes the Lodgy. They did not clear that. This is where we gotta like play the the loss on wheel uh the prices right. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I just oh. around it. All right, we're gonna push this one I'm so ready. I'm ready for that pop, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe Chappie will see it. Chappie might run right in front of it here. Oh, oh there goes the that mortar. IED killed nobody. Now but the Hutch is kind of getting stuck on his striker. Oh, he's gotten off. And All right, everybody wait by the hutch. Everybody wait by the hutch. Oh, he called it. Hutch just said, hey, is that a mine in the middle of the Oh, road? man. He saw wait, it. No, he hutch. Saw wow. It. What Makes a god. On it. He's like, yeah, that's a mine. <laughs> He's there. They're what a away. god. Oh, my god. <laughs> hutch for the win, man. Look at him He's, go. He says, I almost drove over it. I was right there. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Oh, Let's see. Odessa and Sightless <laughs> have since moved to the far south. They are not much of a threat once this U.S. team rounds the corner and starts running. Yeah. And they got to go. Like they got three minutes. Juke in the box is right, though. Hutch is OP. Uh, I think we need to nerf Hutch on the next patch. <laughs> I would love to hear his comms throughout this entire match. I would just love to hear that. All right, they're gonna head to the north and get now the he's paranoid. another mine. Another mine. There, or is that a rock? A decoy rock or something? Decoy rock. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's great. Everyone, decoy. everyone's looking at it. They're running up the road, looking at everything now. Chappie and Cool Breeze are already way out in front. Here comes some more mortar fire. Looks like Agalock, Silverman, Nuke Dukem, Saloon Number Twelve, Savage are there. I don't know who else is up there. You know Maybe though, that last guy alive is. Though they don't know it, I believe that they've now cleared everything, like all yeah, the mines, right? They've cleared it all. So if they just take off, they may be able to get back to their fire base in time. You know, this map's going to end, and I don't know who's going to be the winner. Look, I we don't call know it if a there draw. is a winner. We're going to call it a draw when when the time hits. When there's about 10 seconds left, I'm going to oh, call it a match. Oh, Hutch gets Boom! taken out. Oh, no, Hutch is out. <laughs> oh, no. I salute you, Hutch. That was great. You made it for 48 minutes, man. 48 minutes he made. Wow. And the U.S. has halted. No one's moving. <laughs> Look at that. Command One goes down. They just urge. These remaining insurgents doing a good job. There goes yep, cool, cool Breeze. Takes down Cool Breeze. We've only got a minute 40 to go. So this is going to end. We'll announce a draw with about 10 or 15 seconds to go. Just because just there are still people alive and the time's running out. Nuke, are you up? Yep. I won and uh, medic are dead. 
Pony just said, go and attack. There's only one minute left. Try and take out the contact. So he understands at least, but they're not going to clear him out in time. Saloon number 12 goes down, as does Kahuna. Because there's Merrick and Fulcrum is way off to the south. I think he might yeah. be AFK or something. He's been there for way too long. We're down to one minute. One minute of playtime. Someone eats a grenade down there. Great grenade. You know, and the U.S. have the numbers to push in and take some casualties and, and go for the win here. There's Agalox, Silverman, Nuke Dukem. They've got Merrick 362 way off to the east. Absolutely. More mortars coming in. Not, not the most accurate. About 30 seconds left. Yep, I'm going to... Get the message typed up here really shortly, and we're gonna yep. call it a GG. In this building right here, you want to clear with me? How many seconds? Thirty. Wait, and then it's game over. Uh, twenty seconds now. Fifteen. Sixteen seconds. We down to ten. 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 All right, going now. Call it a draw. Good game, everybody. All right. What a man that can get intense oh, watching them draw up, drive up on them. <laughs> I am fucking shit. Ah, that was sweet. Oh, good game. Good game by both teams. Great work, everybody. That was really fun to watch. My moment was Hutch calling that mine and yeah. nearly browning his pants. You know. <laughs> That was brilliant to watch. Yep, yep. Hey, we'll let you guys go. That was, this, we're here a little late. Good game, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Muff. I'm here with Matter. I'm going to reel off the commands in their squad leaders real quick. Karma Cut and Hutch, great job commanding by both. Their squad leaders, Google Trek's Best Pony, Xbit, Lish, Nasty Nate, Will Crusty the Sailor, and Jack, Jack, Jack. Uh, The cameras really quick. These are the real important ones because they're the ones that give you those awesome views that you see. Uh, Google Trex, Xbit, Merrick 362, The Silverman, Truth Realm, It's Crispy, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony, Hyper Evo, Crusty the Sailor, Big Yes, and Server Error 404. We'll let you guys go. Also, Thank you so much for watching. Our man behind the camera. Always got to give a shout out for Penn. So and thank always you. for Penn. Yep. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching. We'll see you later. And we'll see you later. We'll see you Saturday, maybe.